Hello. Beautiful. Today we're watching some people cut- We're not watching people. We're watching robots cut hair. And not only cut hair, we're watching them wash hair, uh, shave heads. <sighs> Let me just tell you something. I came across these videos last night and they just popped up and I was like, wait, wait, whoa. Robots are cutting hair now? Where is my job gonna go? What's going on? Let's just leave the cutting, the washing, and the coloring for real people because we need jobs too. No, but actually though, I'm very intrigued. We're about to see some robots literally do so many things that I didn't even know was possible. And if you've never seen a robot do hair before, well, you're about to see it. Let's check out the videos. Hold on, is this a helmet or, a, or is something to wash her hair? I gotta be honest, this looks like the most janky machine I've ever seen. Yo, this thing's gonna rip her head off or her hair. Something's not gonna go right here. Oh ho ho! Absolutely not. First of all, could you imagine putting this contraption onto somebody's head? They would think that you are going to definitely 100% murder them. Like there is no chance they're gonna walk out of that salon alive. This thing is a torture device and I know it. Like there is, mm, I don't know, man. That bib you have to wear because the water just falls right in your head. Hold on, also I'm just realizing that the water just comes running down your face. Dude, come on. We have to create a system where the water somehow doesn't run down your face, right? Why don't you lay back while it happens? I mean, it's putting in the work though. It's like doing the whole... Yo, she has to wear goggles for this sh What's around her nose? Is it like a breathing tube because she might die in this contraption? The whole setting of this, we have to acknowledge. She seems to be living in a more a rustic sort of a house. And for some reason, they own a machine that washes your hair for you. And they are doing it in the backyard. It seems like we should be doing other things. I don't know. What? All right, man, listen. I appreciate the attempt at innovation and maybe you will innovate the hair washing system, but I'm not seeing it quite yet. All right, we have a long ways to go here. We have a lot to improve on and um, I would probably focus on the head being back instead of the water dripping down their face. But again, that's just me. Lock me up and throw me in a jail cell. It just doesn't seem like the most optimal way of washing a head. So I was watching a little bit of this last night and I was like, what? This guy makes a machine with scissors attached to it and also a vacuum that will suck the hair up before it even touches the ground. I was baffled. So I built this robot. It's gonna cut my hair the hard way using scissors. I came up with another way of grabbing hair that uses a vacuum. The vacuum sucks all the hair straight up and then if I slide two fingers in I get just the hair that I want and no hair from the sides. What? So this is like a vacuum haircut? I need to see more. Here's the fingers. The scissors are on a little stage driven by a servo and then the scissors are actuated by another servo. Putting these things together, I can move the fingers, grab some hair, lift up, and then cut. This wig hair is, it's like wire, so the scissors can't cut it. I'm gonna have to be the first real haircut. Okay, well here's a tip first of all. Maybe we shouldn't be testing on a wig, maybe just get a mannequin? It's just one single thought I just had. You seem like a very intelligent man. Where's the mannequin? Or get a human hair wig. They're very, very inexpensive when they're that short. I'm just saying, maybe have a hairstylist involved with this next time. I can lend a hand. Um, also, what are these scissors? Are these supposed to be cutting the hair? They are like this long. That isn't gonna do anything. I'm intrigued by the concept, but we're definitely off to a rocky start. <laughs> The other big challenge of this hair cutting attachment is how do I move it to all the different locations on the head? So you're telling me that this machine is going to move around his head with a pair of scissors attached to it? Why doesn't that feel like a good idea? Like something about that just feels like maybe we shouldn't. Do you know what I mean though with that? Like, do you get that? Depending on where you're cutting on the head, you want the scissors to be going different directions. So when I cut the bangs, I want to be cutting across the head. If I cut vertically, I'm going to end up with a diagonal sawtooth bang 
things, which is gonna make me look like a complete idiot. It's not gonna matter either way. I mean, I know it does matter, like in a way, but like that should be the least of his worries here. First of all, you're having a robot cut your hair. And second of all, you're using the tiniest shears, but you're worried about the direction it's cutting in. You're worried about it getting you a little bit of layers in there. Like, yeah, if you cut it this way, you're gonna get some layering. And if you cut it this way, you're gonna get like just a straight line. But I don't know. I feel like we should work on the fundamentals before we start working on like the technique. How are you feeling? I'm a mess. I mean, I am good. Thanks. How are you? Thank you. How are you? I'm a mess. Is that robot me? It sounds very familiar. Oh, hell no. When can I cut your wife's hair? It's not going to happen. <laughs> Trust me. I tried. Wait, wait, wait. So he created a robot that not only cuts your hair like a hairstylist, but also talks to you like a hairstylist. This machine is already trying to get new clients. I appreciate the hustle. My analysis is that you've made yourself into the man who cried wolf. Even if you really mean well, you're not going to be able to convince. Where did that come from? I'm sorry, but I'm just getting this like visual of this machine just going crazy and it just like starts like, you know, cutting your face a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, or your ear. Like it just, it gets pissed at you. If my Alexa became a hairstylist, I do feel like she would take a bit of her resentment towards me out on my head. Like I've definitely yelled at her a few times in my days and I apologize, Alexa. Like, I really do. And I apologize for setting all your, um, off. They probably all just said something at the same time. One of the big challenges of getting this robot to work is that it needs to know where my head is. Yeah. In order to cut the right length. If my head is here, it's gonna cut a different length than if my head is here. I spent way too much time trying to get this depth camera working. So this is an Intel RealSense depth camera. And what I was doing is doing facial recognition to find where my head is. Okay, I like to think I'm a smart guy, but this is all getting a little bit too complicated for me. This is a whole sort of situation he's got going on here. We have, oh my God, don't look at my titties. There are so many moving parts. I hope this is letting you guys out there know why you go and see a professional. Like you can't even program a machine to do this shit. It's really hard. How do you tell a robot what haircut you want? The way that I solved this problem is I took a 3D model of a head and I painted on it the haircut that I want. So you're gonna be bald? The other thing I have to tell the robot is what angle to cut at because I want it to cut my bangs horizontally and I want it to cut around my ears. So this isn't telling the robot that I want a giant unibrow. This is telling the robot cut the bangs horizontally and then cut around my ear. Hold up. How do you even know how a haircut works? Like I hope you did your research. You're basically inputting how to cut the hair, but you're also not a hair cells. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good idea so far. Here's the whole haircut from start to finish. Midway through, I realized there was a bug in my code that made it cut about six times as many locations on my head as it needed to. It took about an hour, but it should only take more like 15 minutes. Okay, I have to give this robot props. You're going in, you're putting in the work, baby. This man is probably not even gonna tip you. I, girl, you're gonna give that machine arthritis or something, like, it's a lot. The robot cut the hairs that it could reach really well. Oh. There's two problems. The first is it can't get close enough to my ears, so I have all this hair. Excuse me, sir, what happened? Excuse me. This is not the vibe. If that was my robot, I would have been like, Mm, that thing's trying to sabotage you. I know it. I know it knows. I know it knows what you're trying to make it do and it doesn't want to do it. So don't make it cut your hair. But the big problem is it gave me a robotically perfect mullet. It just couldn't get quite low enough to cut the last maybe inch of the back of my hair. I had planned to have it rotate, which drops it by about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, but the scissors interfere with the stand and it just couldn't do it. I I'm actually really happy it gave me the mullet. There's just something deeply satisfying about a robot giving me a perfect mullet. Maybe also the robot was just trying to give you like a cooler haircut than what you wanted. It was using the information you inputted, but it was like, I feel like a mullet might be your your look. Like that's usually what a hair cells will do. Like they'll give you something that is gonna work best for you. So maybe you train this robot so well that it actually knows what you want more than you do. I'm actually kind of into this robot. I have to give it a round of applause. The haircut did look precise besides like the ears and the back, but it's also like a robot that this dude made in his like studio garage. I don't know what he, where he made it, but like I'm thoroughly impressed. I have to be honest, this is crazy. If he could perfect this robot, it could actually do pretty decent haircuts on very specific heads. This isn't it though. We have more to watch. Let's see what else we have. There is something that does something else. I'm sure there's a lot more actually, but this is all I could find today. So get this. This is a helmet that will shave your head with a razor blade. A razor blade in a helmet. Mm. 
Oh, I don't want it. I don't want to try it. I don't want to do it. I will not be the one trying it. Uh, absolutely not. I will be keeping my head just how it is. It's good to me. I don't need any lacerations, um, but let's see how this works. All right, so this is a shaving helmet, four blade array mounted on Teflon coated aluminum rails, powered by two servos. LED progress indicators show you when the 20 second cycle is up. In the back, automatic shaving cream injection for the entire cycle. Now Ken here, because he's agreed to be our test subject today. So why don't you put that on Ken? Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out. See, this is useful. If I was a dude who shaved my entire head like this all the time, I would 100% buy this thing if it works. Like I would totally put this on my head and let it go to town and shave the whole thing. This seems like a time saver. All right. Any last words, Kenny? It looks ridiculous. Okay, let me turn that on for you. How's it feel? It's a little strange. When you shave your head manually, you move back and forth and laterally, which is what the helmet is doing right now, times four. So the cycle is complete. Moment of truth. Any nicks? Oh, wow. Nice, it looks smooth. What? 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 That did that whole thing in like five seconds. Wow, yeah, no cuts at all. And it looks good. There you have it, shaving helmet. Imagine like going into a barber and then they just have a bunch of guys sitting with helmets on. Like if we could make that thing a little bit more sleek and like minimal, maybe even clear. Clear would be cool. Like you could see all the wires and sh I'm all here for the shaving helmet. I will be investing in this unit when I'm bald, please. Don't ever let me get bald, hair gods, please. I just don't want it. Like, it's just not for me. I think other people look great with it, but me, I like it. I like having hair, please, please. This is dope. I love that. That seems practical. We do have another video of a different technique that seems more legit. This was posted in 2012, and it says that they were going through trials at this time. The robots we are introducing to you today is one that comes in direct contact with people. This video is freaking me out. I don't know. I don't know. We have decided to make the robots available for users to try out for themselves to gather feedback from users towards its commercialization. Okay, see, look. This looks a lot better designed. His head is back in the sink, which makes a lot of sense, logistically, because gravity, you know? This robot is equipped with a total of 24 fingers, eight on the right arm, eight on the left. This reminds me of like the water beds, the water massage beds at the mall. Like it's giving me the same vibes. Also, ew. Now that I really think about it, like ew, those massage beds. Do you have any people laid in those things and nobody cleaned them? This looks like it would give you the head massage of a lifetime. I would be like, mm. The only thing that I like getting massage is my head. I don't know, this guy's Living man, he's like, this feels good. The shampoo is lathered inside the machine. It only needs a small amount to wash the entire head. Spraying the shampoo on in this way reduces chafing, making it gentler on the hair and on the scalp. Oh, I absolutely 100% need one of these in my house. What? The arm can extend right out, which enables the robot to reach all the way to the middle of the head. The unit at the rear for washing the back of the head now begins to move. The fingers also work to rinse out the shampoo, working to scrub off and remove any dirt. Everything's been a little bit of a flop until now. I am intrigued. I need this device and I'm blown the f away that this is real. You're joking with this. Like, you are kidding? For users with long hair, a special nozzle enables the robot to wash long hair as well. I don't see anything wrong with this so far. Why was this posted in 2012 and it's still not on the market? Or maybe it is in the market. Am I dumb? Probably. This is extremely relaxing and offers a degree of comfort that users cannot experience with human hands. That was cool as sh you won this whole video. We had a couple of really great ideas and a couple of not so great concepts. Well, concepts that just need some working on, except for that stand up like hair washing machine. It seemed like a little bit like it's never gonna work. I don't know. I'm not a um, computer programmer slash uh, technology person. What do you call them? I don't know, I'm losing my mind. What do you say? I don't know. <laughs> engineer, that's what they're called. They're called engineers. I'm not an engineer. Honestly though, I love innovation and these are quite intriguing. I think it's really cool and I'm interested to see how far it gets. I'm curious to see if anybody out there is getting their hair cut by robots. Is this a thing? Like, is, are people actually doing this in real life other than on themselves with the machines they build? Like, is there things out there? And if not, why not? Where are they? If you guys aren't following me anywhere else, you can go for it. Here are my social media handles right here and Xmondo's social media handles. You can also shop at the links below. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you beautifuls next time. Bye.